for Bali. I mean, pack with me for Bali, pack with me for Southeast Asia, pack with me for I'm going somewhere after Bali as well for 12 days. So that's yet to be announced on Girls Who Travel Instagram. But I thought we could do a pack with me because I'm taking a half rucksack, half suitcase. And also, I host trips, so if you're watching this and you're a random person that's just followed me and just seen my face for the first time ever, then hello. I host trips uh, for girls around the world. Um, go and follow us on Instagram, Girls Who Travel. Go and look at our website, galswhotravel.truetravels.co.uk, I think. I think. I should know that. Um, and I'm heading to Bali with 25 girls that are coming on one of our trips. So I thought it would actually be useful to do this for anyone that's coming on our trips to show you what I take. I've done Bali, it's my seventh time going to Bali. So, oh, this is the situation. This is the bag. It is from North Shore, North Core, North Core. <laughs> don't even know the name. And it's got wheels. You don't, it doesn't have a handle, you literally just drag it along like that. Oh God, it already feels heavy. I bought for the first time one of the weight allowance things. Now I haven't even filled it. I've I filled it slightly. I don't know how we're gonna do this. By the way, I literally just got this off Amazon and it's probably one of the best things I probably should have had it about years ago years ago, so I'm always over. Okay. Oh my god. I'm only 13. That is insane. I thought I'm only allowed 20 because I'm doing lots of internal flights around Southeast Asia. So I thought I'm only allowed 20. I'm allowed 30 on the way there, which who I'm flying with, but I'm only allowed 20 on the short haul flights, on the small ones between the islands, so that's really good to know. I wanted to show you what I'm taking. I'm going to plan some outfits because it's always best to know exactly what you're taking and how much I can fit in this. It's 110 litres. I'm going to show you what I've got so far, what I'm taking, how I'm packing, and yeah. Okay, so... I always pack in packing cubes. I cannot pack without packing cubes. Packing cubes are a life saviour. These were from Amazon. I always get mine from Amazon. So this is kind of like evening stuff, more like you, I wouldn't wear it during the day. I don't go dressy when I'm in Bali. I don't, I, I like, I say my maximum dressiness is like a cute colourful cardboard, but I would never wear heels. I would never wear like a lovely house of CB dress, that kind of dressy. I would just wear like a maxi skirt and that would be dressy for me. This gorgeous skirt, how cute is that? It's from Vinted. Um, I just thought with either a bikini top on the beach, because the second place I'm going after Bali, I can really see this in. And like a yellow bikini or like a yellow top. I just think that's really cute. And also it's very airy. I have got a little cord here. Like I said, I am I really do love a cord. This is from Zara. And again, it's just like a little crop top and shorts. I've got this. Again, I probably would actually wear this during the day. I don't know why I put this in the evening pile. But this is from Pull and Bear. This I've had for years and I wear it all the time. I really recommend getting one of these. I know Hollis to do some, but this is from Princess Polly. Just a little play suit. And it's just so easy to wear, but it looks really cute for the evening. Evening. and it's also a play suit so it's got shorts so it doesn't matter like you're nice and secure down there it's not like it's flowing up like a dress okay this is new I got this from Princess Polly again I did do a big order from them now Millie has this it's just a long maxi skirt um I wore hers quite a lot in Bali when I wanted a little bit more of a dressy up look so I thought this was good to have in there when I want a little bit dresser in the evenings or even a beach day over a swimsuit cute um, I also packed that skirt to go with this top. This is from Vinted as well, very island girl. Feel like I probably wore it when I was about five years old. It's like a tankini top, but I love it. These two little dresses, these are good little traveling dresses from H&M. They're just really easy. I think they were like 7 99 from H&M. This is more for, so I've got like a stint in between Bali and the other place I'm going. I've got this skirt and I've got my birthday in Bali and my boyfriend's coming out for my birthday and we've got four nights together, just me and him, no work, no nothing, just enjoying Bali for my birthday. And I bought this skirt from Zara. I just thought this would be really nice for a birthday dinner. Who knows? Again, I said I don't bring many dressy things, but these are like more like island girl dressy. Um, this is a lovely crochet set from Princess Polly. Crochet skirt and crochet top really love that I can't wait to wear that that was a good find because I haven't seen that on Princess Polly before and they don't update it that much so that's one pack and cube oh one thing I didn't show you was this little top from Vinted again or Depop maybe I thought one evening with either the white maxi skirt or some little shorts I very long wires 
I thought that was really sweet. So I put it in my evening pile to remind me that I want to wear that one evening. Now this is a maxi skirt. I've just, I've just seen how many maxi skirts I've got. So I'm really not sure if I'm going to take this. But this girl sent me this and it's handmade and it's just beautiful. And it's like a tiered white maxi skirt. I do love it for the evening. So that's a maybe. Okay, next is my tops. I live in basic tank tops. This is from Skims, just a black Skims top. This is from Pull and Bear, just a basic top like just coloured, different coloured tank tops. I've probably packed too many, but you know what? I am an overpacker because I love, love outfits and just looking good or feeling good. Just again, as little clothing as possible because it's going to be boiling. A white tank. This is from a little island in Greece. I thought that was sweet for Bali. This white cross is really just different shapes of white crops, basically. Oh, I got it in grey as well. Bandeau. I wore this quite a lot last time I was there. It's just easy, you don't get tan lines. Now this goes with the skirt that I just showed you, the white maxi skirt that I just showed you. This is from a play, the Etta collection and it is so gorgeous. It's very, she sounds very like island girl stuff. It's such a gorgeous top. I wore it the other day and Matt commented on it. Amber commented on it. Like I got a lot of compliments. This is another tank top from Princess Polly. <laughs> do you feel bad? I swear to God, it was like me feeling bad for the clothes that I don't choose to take. I honestly have like an, an emotional attachment. I'm like, oh no, I feel bad if I don't wear you. Um, this little frilly white top is from ASOS. I actually think that'd be nice for the evenings, so I will, I will take that. Again, plain tank top. It's just like a little coloured one that would look nice with a skirt or, a, or shorts. Um, this I take every time I go to Bali because it's very Bali. It's got little hibiscus flowers on. It was from TK Maxx. TK Maxx is also a good place to go. This was $4.99. This is Motel Rocks, a lovely little coloured number. Honestly, I'm so bad at packing. This is a little coloured floral corset from Pepper Mayo, I think it's called. And then two plain tanks from Zara. They're like this. But in white next up is co beach cover-ups because obviously i'm going to be spending there's a lot of beach activities you're on an island on the bali galaxy travel trip and you end up just wearing a bikini and chucking something over it it's so much easier so i have got this shirt from uniqlo it's a linen shirt just striped it is the size extra large and it's just so nice to chuck over now this i don't know how much i'll wear it but i want to take it because it was five pounds in a charity shop and I just think it's so nice to wear over the top of my bikini. Now, if you've been to Bali before, you'll see these everywhere. This was about five pounds from a market in Bali and I wear it so much because it's so easy to just pop over a bikini. This is just a sarong. I literally, I got it in Costa Rica for about eight pounds. Now these are tiny little crochet shorts that I'm gonna be wearing to cover up as well. And then I've got a top that's long sleeve that like ties in the middle, that's a nice, pop over if I burn. Not that I'm going to burn, I've got lots of Factor 50 with me and I don't burn, I'm a sensible gal. So let me cut that back up. Right, the next thing, my bikinis I've put in here. These are the triangle, when you buy triangles from the bikini you get these like swimming bag and I've just put all my bikinis in here. I did actually get such a good bikini, but it's Kulani Kinis and it's a blue, really lovely, if you want to see my bikinis, then follow Bronte King, at Bronte King Double G and also Gals Who Travel because I always tag where they're from. Oh, these, this is also from Kika Kinis, which is Kate Elizabeth's brand, and she does really cute bikinis. Love, love, love. Can't wait to wear that. And I got this one as well. I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, shoes, flip flops. I normally only take two pairs of shoes. Well, three, but I wear one on the flight, so two. Flip-flops, Birkenstocks, and then I wear trainers because you'd climb Mount Batal when you are doing one of our trips, and I'm climbing Mount Batal with the guys, so we'll need trainers. I have got a mirror that I'm taking with me um, because I'm doing one night on like a desert island and there won't be any mirrors, and also it's just nice to have a mirror in there if I do need it. Sun cream, I've got my Hello Sunday sun creams there. I've got a bag, a pack of Uno, which is great. This is all hats because I like to keep out of the sun. A visor to keep out of the sun. Got a belly chain, a shell belly chain. I just thought that was a nice little Bali edition. I've got one crochet hat, two crochet hat, 
three crochet hat, four crochet hat, five bucket hat. And I do have the gal two bucket hat somewhere, but I cannot find it. So I'm gonna find that before I leave. But I will wear these so much. Like whether it's on the back of a moped, whether it's on a boat, whether it's walking through the jungle, <laughs> the jungle, I don't know where I think I'm going. They're from ASOS Accessorize, which is random. I didn't know they did them. And then the final packing cube is bottoms. Now this is where I think this is actually gonna be really helpful for you guys. So I've got a little, this is very island girl, but I just love it. It's massive for me. I need to get it taken in, but I just love it. I have got a white maxi skirt, which I will wear during the day that I don't mind getting dirty. It's just from Depop and I wear it all the time and it goes with everything. Oh, this is a little white mini skirt from ASOS. These are from Princess Polly. I've got so many shorts, but again, I will wear them. Some gingham red shorts just to liven things up. Some white little shorts that I'll just wear as like a bikini cover up. White linen shorts, which get dirty in honestly about an hour of wearing them, but I love them and they're so easy to wear. Some white linen trousers, it's really easy to have. I wore them quite a lot in Thailand, so that's nice to have those. Some blue shorts. Can't wait to wear those. They look so comfy and they're just so thin and they'll like be really lovely and cool. They're from Pull and Bear. I've got these boxer kind of shorts from Zara. Pink shorts from Princess Polly. Again, love those. Really oversized, comfy. These are from Bali, a market in Bali, and I wear them all the time when I'm away. Uh, because they're just so flowy and open and i just love them they're so comfortable the only things i need to pack is my toiletries and i actually bought this from amazon which is a special travel toiletry holder so you can just hook it up wherever you are and it'll have all your toiletries in so yeah i mean i think i've showed you most of it and then i'm taking i'm wearing a hoodie and tracksuit on the plane Oh, I do have a big, let's go through this. They don't have all the toiletries and like pharmaceutical stuff that we have. And it's also very expensive out there. So is in the pharmacy stuff, not everything else. Um, so I'll show you that. What is inside my big bag? I actually bought these today. They're not from Boots, but I normally buy a whole pack of digest digesters before I fly, just because if I don't like the airplane food, then I get so hungry. But I saw these and I think they're children's biscuits, but they look really good. They're like chopped organic healthy chocolate biscuits don't ask right so i've got some toothpaste two packs two large packs of tampons because i'm meant to be on my period when i'm out there and they do not if you've been to Bali, you will know and you've been on your period looking for tampons they don't sell these anywhere they sell the self-applicated ones maybe one in ten shops but please bring your own tampons because otherwise you're going to be in trouble i have bought the travel squeezy bottles to put all my stuff in but i also did buy these which are the travel pouches that you can squeeze your shampoo and conditioner into so i'm going to do like face wash shower gel shampoo and conditioner because the places that i'm staying are to bali i don't know if they're going to have all of that i have got some paracetamol just in case i have got some <laughs> Oh no, I thought that was brow. I bought lash tint. I meant to buy brow tint because my brows are gonna go so pale in the sun. I normally get travel sickness tablets. I get quells, so I need to get some of those, but these are ginger capsules and they're like natural ones. So I guess if you don't feel like you wanna take a full strength quells tablet, these are natural remedy ones. They're ginger capsules. Um, so I'm gonna do that on like the smaller journeys because I get travel sickness and that would just be nice to know that they're helping. So anti back and some micellar water that I'm going to put into one of the travel pouches because I don't need the big one. Um, but I need to get adapters. I normally take a big like a four, four plug extension lead as well. That's a nice top tip because when you are plugging your thing in, you only need one adapter then and then it gives you four plugs. I also need to go and get money out because when you do visa on arrival, you have to have money out. All of that. Money out key. Okay, this is how big it is. It is so big. It's so great. So let me put some of this stuff in there. Oh, good. One of our travel cubes is already ripped. I was just saying how good quality they were. Good. I need to be careful with those then. And then I need to fill these two 
from there. Oh, my bikinis. So I'll have so much room. Not that I'm going to fill it. I'm going to be really good. But it's just nice to know that I have it in case um, I need it. But yeah, I hope that you found this helpful just to run through everything in case you guys have forgotten anything or don't know what to pack. Then yeah, I hope I hope you find that helpful. But yeah, if you are coming on a girls who travel trip or want to come on a girls who travel trip, then firstly if you're coming on one that's insane and i'm so excited for you i'm literally gonna have the best time i'm yeah if you need anything dm me or girls who travel we will sort it and if you want to come on a trip but you have lots of questions then dm me or girls who travel and i will get back to you um but yeah thank you guys for watching the next vlog will be bali and the next place i'm going it doesn't even feel real i'm so excited <laughs>